all right guys even here and this is sean roden and oops he did it again he is currently 15 weeks out of mr olympia and he improved from the last guest posing at pittsburgh pro for sure he definitely did he is more muscular but is he leaner is he leaner maybe a little bit yeah he's a little bit leaner he probably started juicing or using higher dosages but look at those glutes those are not soggy glutes this is not even glutes, I would just say this is fat ass. <laughs> I would not refer to his glutes as glutes, because that's the muscle. Because I don't see any muscle there, I just see big fat ass. <laughs> and uh, I don't know about you guys, but I think this is not a smart move for Sean Roden. But yeah, he's doing this posing, uh, cast posing a bit more professionally. Last time he had that baseball cap and, and those long trunks. Now he looks like a bodybuilder and now he actually did a real guest posing. He stayed there for quite a while. The last guest posing was like how many? 30, 40 seconds maybe? He just wanted to escape from that stage. Now he seems much more confident and I think he likes how he looks like. I think he wanted to redeem himself. This is kind of a redemption for that guest posing at Pittsburgh Pro because he received a lot of hate. A lot of hate, a lot of people didn't like what I saw, they talked trash about him and I'm sure it hurts him and I'm sure it bothers him at least a little because before he became the Mr. Olympia he was still a good bodybuilder, he was top 2, top 3 the Mr. Olympia but nobody really cared about him as much, he was just a next guy after Phil Heath because Phil Heath was much better than him and all the other guys but right now he's a top bodybuilder and people, you know, fans want to hate on the champion if they see a slight opportunity. And they saw, we saw something like that at Pittsburgh Pro. So that's what happened. He received a lot of hate and now he wanted to redeem for that. So did he really do it? Did he redeem himself? Is this body fat fine? Well, I guess it's okay. Especially when he is posing here with the crowd. The lighting is probably better and he looks leaner here and harder, simply. However, under those bright lights on the stage, his body fat percent is very obvious. You can see that he's very, very fat. He's still holding a lot of fat. Will he be able to trim all that fat down until the Mr. Olympia time? I believe, yeah, I believe he will be able to if all things go perfect. But wouldn't it be smart for him to start his prep a little bit earlier? To be in better shape at 15 weeks out? It probably does. I mean, why would he risk it? Why is he so sure that nothing will go wrong? I mean, yeah, he's an experienced bodybuilder and he has Chris Aceto in his corner. So I'm sure they have a game plan already planned. They have been doing this for a while. He's 44 years old now. He knows his body very well. But something can happen, you know, some outside factor. And something can set him back. And he can fail. And he maybe doesn't get shredded for the Mr. Olympia. Maybe that's what's actually gonna happen and he's not sure he's not sure what's gonna happen and he's still risking it this is his first mr olympia title and he's still risking it or like this by being fat in the off season so i don't think this is a very smart decision for him for his career for this mr olympia but will he be able to get trimmed down will he be able to get shredded by the time mr olympia comes probably yeah i still have him winning this show if everything goes perfect, but if something goes wrong, the chances of him not succeeding would be very high. And the thing is, unless he comes completely peeled, peeled to the bone like he was last year, I don't think he can win it. Because he has a lot of good bodybuilders out there and they're all close. They all beat Sean Rodden before. The only time when he beat them all, considering Phil Heath as well, is when he was at his 100%, which is 2018 edition. And he was much leaner, I would say, at Pittsburgh Pro last year than he is right now, 15 weeks out. So I think he's behind, I think he's not in perfect shape as he should be at 15 weeks out, but the chances of him actually managing are pretty high. So I still think he's the favorite to win it, unless Phil Heath shows up. If he does, then the chances of Sean winning then would be like 50% probably. If Phil actually comes conditioned and learns how to control his stomach, I think Phil would take it. But we'll see that in a couple of months. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And also subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.